it seems only right that our first challenge tonight should be the toughest gladiator test of them all. To score the maximum 10 points, the challenger must get all the way in less than 20 seconds. Our first female finalist has made it through before. Please welcome Catherine against Glacier, Storm, Delta, Blade, and Flame. Here's our referee, Mike Whitney. Challenger, are you ready? No one can forget how Catherine annihilated the are Gladiators on her last run. This time round, our five Gauntlet guards have got to be worried about this woman in red as Catherine crashes straight into Glacier and breaks the ice. She's through now easily up to Storm. Storm trying to weather the worst of it without flinching. Catherine now hits Delta and goes straight past her. She's cracking on the pace. Delta's out of there and now it's Blade's turn to hold her out. Flames the last line of defence. Can Catherine the Great do it? 70 kilos of her and she's got 70 kilos sitting on her. She's trying to wriggle her way through. I think she may have made it, but yet, now she does just in time. Five points. Catherine, flat out there on the floor. How are you going? My goodness, that was a tough one. Yeah, they went a lot harder that time. They were ready for you this time, weren't they? I think so. I think they were too, so it was a lot tougher this time than last. Um, they changed their uh, combination. They had Glacier at the front, which made it a lot harder because if you don't get momentum at the start, it doesn't carry you through and Glacier stopped the momentum at the start. Okay, well I gather that you must have made it through in uh, a little more than 20 seconds, which means five points. Oh, thanks, that's great. Marissa hasn't run this race before. Has she taken the tip from Catherine? Keep going and take them on full frontal. Here's Mike Whitney to counter in. Three, two, one. Marissa takes off and collides with Glacier, who treats her like the Titanic, sinking her in her maiden voyage. Now she's trying to salvage something from this run as she turns around and now goes up towards Storm, who swamps her and bundles her into the clutches of Delta. Marissa's brother trying to see where she is. Well, she's battling Blade and she's moving right up to Flame, who just shoves her into the side of the wall. She's squashing her, she's treating her with contempt and she's not going to let her through. No points, Marissa. Wedged in on the corner there with Flame, pushing, pushing, pushing. Yeah, it was a bit hard there. A bit tougher than playing rugby league, because there at least you can push them away here. You're not really allowed to fend, so it's a little bit... It's, it's, it's a real barge game, this one, isn't it? Yeah. Checking with our referees who are conferring over there. Mike Whitney, not through. No points for you there, I'm afraid, Marissa. I'm sorry, it was right on the whistle, but too late. Never mind. A win! It's on the time, let's hit. Yeah! Woo! OK. Gladiators, well done. Well done. Held her up for the points there. Flame, she was trying to get in over the corner there. You weren't going to let her through. Mike, I just wanted to be the Terminator tonight, and I think I've done that. Marissa was terminated. She got no points. Catherine got through for five. This is the grand final gauntlet lineup the male challengers are about to face. Good luck, guys. Our first male challenger has run the gauntlet before and failed. Let's welcome Paul Reynolds. Up against our lineup of gladiators Hammer, Condor, Commando, Vulcan, and Tower. Over to you, Mike Whitney. Challenger! The smaller Paul is wearing the bigger bandage. In anticipation, I reckon. Paul sidestepped the gladiators back in the corners. The tower stopped him in the semis. Will Paul take three? And it's take a run straight into Hammer. As he goes past him now in a condor, the dancer sidestepped Condor now straight up to Commando. He can't hold him. What can Vulcan do? Well, he waltzes up to Vulcan and Vulcan has to let him go. He's lost his helmet. Paul takes a nosedive into Vulcan and takes his hat off to the big guy. The gauntlet was stopped for safety reasons. The challenger lost his helmet. The game will restart. There is 15 seconds left on the clock. Three, two, one. Paul takes off and goes to the left side. He cleverly avoids Vulcan. What about Tower? What can he do? Nothing. The man's through. He's a champion, this bloke. How are you feeling now? I feel fine. 
We're just checking here on the thing. What was the time? But what time did Paul get over? At 21 seconds, you're one second over. Five points, though, mate. A great run. That's good enough for me. Thanks, mate. Let's welcome our blue finalist to the gauntlet from Mudry Bar in Queensland. It's Paul Stubbs. Let's start the game. Here's Mike Whitney. The Queensland bricklayer ran this road in the semi-final and it was a dead end. And Hammer smacks him into the side of the wall this time round. Stubbs is trying to use brute force to get past Hammer, but he can't. Now he can, up to Condor. He's twisting and turning, doing everything to try and get past Condor. This is hard work for Stubbs. He's up to Commando, who squashes him. Commando's got to get out of there, but he hasn't. He pushes Paul back, and that's not allowed, Commando. Paul came up to Commando on his hands and knees, and then Commando just pushed him back with his hands. The gauntlet was stopped. Commando was using an illegal tactic. There is 10 seconds left on the clock. Well, Stubbsy shakes his head. Three, He's not sure what's two, next. One. Well, Vulcan's next, Paul. He's used to building brick walls, not running into them. Vulcan's slowing him down. The family cheering him on. And now he's only going to get past Tower. Well, that's a hard feat. He doesn't do it. No points. Paul. A disappointing run, I can, I can read it in your face. Let me tell you, the crowd were behind you, but Commando was on top of you. Yeah, he, he pushed me back out of the wide square. Okay, so that was what the problem was with Mike Whitney? Yeah. Not a very happy boy? No, not very happy at all. No, this was tough, wasn't it? Very hard, they're big men, strong. It's really hard. Paul Stubbs takes a pounding, and Paul Reynolds takes five after game one.